How do you even begin to break out of the friend zone and start dating your best friend? In this video, I share five dating rules when it comes to dating your best friend that you probably didn't know. As a relationship coach, I am always telling my women clients, if you're going to marry someone, make sure that you marry your best friend. You guys were actually friends. Like you started off with zero intention of wanting to get together. And then one thing led to another. And before you know it, there may be something there that wasn't there before. Rule number one, once you cross over to dating, you can never go back to being just friends. Why? Because feelings are involved, because emotions are involved, because intentions are had, because futures were made up in your head, because you put yourself out there in a way that your friend would have never had you get put out there before had they would have just been a friend. Rule number two, just because you know each other doesn't actually mean that you know each other. Back then your guard was up, you know, you kind of kept a secret part of your life reserved for actual relationships and so vice versa you don't know everything about this person and now that you guys are together it's gonna take some time to explore it rule number three playfulness might not work when you're trying to work through your conflicts in other words as friends you know if somebody was mad at each other you could just brush it off you could just nonchalantly like get over it you guys could just spend some time away from each other and then come back regroup and now you guys are friends again but now that you guys are in a relationship um yeah, you're going to want to put on your big girl pants and you're going to want to start to communicate and conflict resolve these things. Stop playing when things get serious because homeboy is trying to be serious with you now. Okay. So yes, it's fun to have fun. It's fun to be playful, but when you got to be an adult, start being an adult. Okay. Rule number four, New guards do not have to come up. You know, every time you enter into a new relationship with a new guy, boom, you're automatically putting up all these walls. But this ain't no ordinary guy. Like, this is your homie. This is your dude. Like, you guys go way back. You know what I'm saying? You have to take that into consideration. Open up. Be a little more transparent. Be a little more vulnerable. Let him into the places that he didn't have access to because now he has a boyfriend status. Rule number five, just because you guys had a really good friendship doesn't mean that you guys are going to thrive in the relationship. Listen, I don't care who you are. I don't care how long you've known him. Relationships take work. They always will. So don't think that just because you guys got a head start in your friendship doesn't mean that you guys could sit back, relax, chillax, and all that because nothing else is going to happen. Like you guys still need to work on communication, expectations, intentions, each other's family, each other's futures, traditions, mindsets, values. I mean, I could keep going on, but I think it's better if you go on with him and figure it out together. So don't slack off because you definitely care about this person and this person definitely cares about you. So the best thing you could do is give 110%, if not more towards this particular relationship because you know the worth already. So go for it, girl. If God is giving you the peace to pursue it, then go for it. Have fun. And I'm so happy for you. This is awesome. It's amazing. Okay, so yes, you guys are dating. You guys are a thing now, but what about the other friends? Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to tell them? How are they going to react? What you don't want to do is make sure that you don't ditch them now that you guys are a pair. To learn more about how to maintain your friendships when it comes to a new guy, or in this case, the old guy, be sure that you go ahead and check out this video next, and I will see you in the next video.